Hey, what is up you guys? Coach Joey coming in. It is 7 p.m. I just pulled up to the house and I wanted to come in with a message for the day. And I want to add on to the nutrition message that we had last week. So last week, we talked about keeping track of your food, um, kind of creating a roadmap uh, that'll at least let you see where you're starting. So uh, hopefully uh, some of you who watched that video maybe took that serious and maybe logged what you were eating for the, the last few days. If you haven't, obviously you can start that at any point and then now we're gonna add on to that. So um, once you get like a good starting point of where you're at, then the next thing that you have to do is start making some changes. And usually the biggest change that I try to encourage people to, to make early on in their, their nutrition or once you start um, you know, eating uh, a sense to increase your body composition, performance in the gym, whatever the case may be, is to create consistency across the board. And uh, when I talk to people about consistency with their nutrition, they immediately start getting wrapped up in, you know, eating the same amount of calories every day or macro and micros and all this other stuff, which is important. Don't get me wrong. But remember, we're taking small steps to get you to where you want to be. And usually the, the smaller the, and easier the steps are, the, the more you're, you're, you'll be likely to be successful. So um, the first step that I always recommend for people is going to be frequency. So most of the time people don't eat frequently enough throughout the day. So I always recommend as a baseline of five to six meals a day. Uh, I'm a big fan of six meals a day. I usually try to even consume seven to eight meals a day myself. I'm a big advocate on the every about two hours trying to feed myself. I know that's not possible for everybody, but you literally want to try to stay between that three and four hour window. You never want to go uh, much longer than four hours without eating unless it's absolutely 100% necessary and you can't help it. So um, if you think about waking up in the morning, let's say you get up at six o'clock between six and seven, you have breakfast. So that's meal number one. Then let's say around nine o'clock you have or nine thirty, you have, you know, another small meal. I don't like to call them snacks. Um, because I'm not a big snack eater. So I usually like to small meals throughout the day. Um, then your third meal would say around noon. Most people call that lunch. And then you'd have your fourth meal. Let's say you have that around three o'clock. Then you have your fifth meal. We'll say is around six o'clock. And then if you get hungry before bed, you can add your sixth meal in there and that gives you your six meals a day. Um, now, when I talk about consistency in the beginning, most of the time I just try to get people on track as far as spreading those meals out and paying attention to the consistency of time. So no matter what happens, no matter what you eat in the beginning, and don't get me wrong because this is going to sound a little bit uh, uh, of conflicting information, is essentially it doesn't matter what you eat. Now, I don't want you to start eating bad food, but I want you to think of something that you would normally have for a meal and just spread it out throughout the day. Um, and then once you could get to where you can do that for two, three weeks, maybe, then we'll start talking about adding in some other components that'll help get you on track. And what I'll do is I'll try to post a video once a week that will help you stack onto that. So last week we talked about number one, tracking your food. Uh, very, very important. I track my food. Um, it's just, if, if you're not willing to do that, you're going to have a hard time doing anything else. It's the easiest component. Then number two is creating consistency, but not across the board. Small bits of consistency starting with what? Frequency. All right, you guys. So remember that word. Frequency of meals, never longer than four hours. Like I said, I'm a two hour guy, maybe three hours if I get busy um, with a lot of stuff going on. But keep that in mind. And you guys don't be scared to make those changes. All right. If you really want to get on track with your nutrition, whether it's body composition related or whether it's performance related in the gym start there. All right, you guys, Coach Joey out. Uh, make sure if you uh, like these videos and you think it could be valuable for some of your friends or family members who are trying to get on track, uh, feel free to share it with them. Also, if you have friends or family members who have questions about anything related to fitness, nutrition, have them give me a call. All right. We'll see everybody at the gym. Have a great night.